Hey there. Um, I can sense that you're a bit bored with your life, and I think a good way to get rid of that is to learn Adobe Dimension. So Adobe Dimension is the software that you can use to create mockups. And uh, unlike using uh, Photoshop or Illustrator for your mockups, Adobe Dimension is 3D, uh, and it's very easy to use. Everything is just based off of a drag and drop system. And if you don't really know how to do any 3D modeling, compositing, or whatever, Dimension is just nice. It's just for mockups. Uh, it aims to be a bit photorealistic. Stick. And in most cases, it gets the job done. So without further ado, let's just get this video started. Alright, if you uh, open up your Adobe Dimension, the first thing that you'll notice are these 3D models on the left. And you have a lot of choices. You don't necessarily have to make your own models. You can also just download them online and import them into Adobe Dimension if you want as well. Uh, they also have a variety of materials and elements or textures that you can use. Let's just go ahead and get started with this pouch here. Alright. So on your right, there's this sticker looking thing that says uh, place graphic on model. So just go ahead and click that and then it should put your design on the 3D model. And then from here on out, it's a bit straightforward. Just resize the design. And then you might notice that the color of the material does not not exactly match the design here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the back material. And then there will be an option for your base color and I'm going to change the color accordingly. And then now it looks better. Um, Sides that you can even uh, play around with the texture of the um, 3D model. So in this case, you can make things metallic or you can make them more like matte and you can even make them a bit brighter. There's even the translucent step there if you want to touch that. But I'm not going to make a translucent back. So I mean, that looks fine, but let's just add another object with a different texture here. Um, in this case, I'm going to pick the milk carton. Uh, by the way, to move your objects, um, it's very easy. Just use these handles that you can see here. You have your Y axis, you have your X axis, and you also have your Z axis. So, And in order to change the height, instead of the pointy arrows, you go to the square handles instead. So, oh yeah, one thing to note about the scaling feature is that it doesn't really scale things proportionately. Um, as you can see here, when I make the box shorter, the top becomes flatter and vice versa. So this is one of the downsides of using a dimension. You cannot really manipulate your models here. So what I had to do is edit the model on Blender a couple of times. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a design on the box as well. This time it's another cover. Okay, and then um, Next, you can actually add in a background in the images tab here. And I'm just going to select this table background. And one interesting thing that I want to show you is um, there's this button called match image and it does exactly what you want it to. It matches the 3D models with the lighting of the background and it also changes the position of the objects as you can see. So yeah, now we're almost ready to render. Let's just save the current setup here so that later on when I want to change stuff, I can just go back to this setup instantly rather than having to manually move things around. So next to your pre-render button, there's this uh, camera icon with the star on it. So I'm going to go here and I'll just create a view and I'm going to name it view one. All right. And then I'm going to also change the view and then make another view called view two. And as you can see here, I can just switch between the two views when I want to. And it doesn't have to end there. You can still edit the lights if you want to. There's a slider here, um, one for intensity and the other one for rotation. So in this case, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna make the front part a bit dark since the light source is coming from behind the models. So uh, in order to render, it's very easy. Just go to your render tab on the top left and then make sure that you have current view um, unchecked and instead check the views that you want. Export it as a PNG unless you want to use a PSD for some reason if you want to edit it or you want to change the color or something. You can stop the rendering process anytime and then you can save it as it is. But the longer you wait, the better. So also like a, just a tip, rendering can take up a lot of time. And in some cases, if you render something too close or if there's a lot of information to render, it might crash your dimension because your PC is not able to handle it. So uh, be sure to keep a fair distance between the camera and the objects so that when you render, it's not too heavy. And yeah, that's 
basically how you use Adobe Dimension. Uh, let's just try something a bit extra here. I'm, I'm not quite happy with the mock-up just now. I like to make my mock-ups a bit more exciting. And when I say exciting, I mean I just make them look like they're jumping. It's way better than just putting them on one flat surface and at least you can see both of them here um, compared to the previous setup. They also give you some basic shapes here to play around with and um, yeah, you can use them for your uh, props or something. I just like to use this shape called the half pipe as a backdrop. So yeah, let me just like readjust the size a bit wider and taller and not that deep, all right. And I'm gonna change the color to yellow to match the yellow in the box. You can pick the colors by the way. And you can also change the color of the floor. And then now let's use, I don't know, like three point light. Just drag it and drop it onto your model. And yeah, let's get this rendered and see how it looks like. Um, unlike doing mockups on Photoshop uh, where it's just like, what you see is what you get. But in Adobe Dimension, you're not limited by that. You can actually just change the angles of your products if you want, change the lighting. In fact, you don't even have to learn 3D so much here. But yeah, I think it's a good like gateway app to the world of 3D. And yeah, now you can add I've done 3D work in your portfolio. Adobe Dimension is by all means not a replacement for like Blender or Cinema 4D. It's just used for mockups, product mockups specifically. So, all right. So uh, I hope this video has helped you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. It's the right thing to do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.